Hey everyone. So you probably, some of you might know, but Robert and I butcher our own um, chickens and poultry and some of the bigger livestock as well. So here's our butcher shop. We're all set up to do 200 uh, Freedom Ranger broiler chickens today. This is going to be the most we've ever done in one day. So, I'm a little nervous about it. Naturally. But, uh, we just have to rock and roll today. So, over here, this is the kill, they call these kill cones. You put the bird upside down in these cones. You pull their necks out. You slip their jugular. You bleed out into this right here um i know it sounds gruesome and stuff to people who aren't used to it but we do it in the most humane the best way possible they never leave the farm once they get here as just a few hour old chicks we've only handled them and uh, they're used to us handling them and it's not a big deal to them and when you bleed them out they don't even feel it we do it so quickly they kind of just fall asleep in these cones, and it's a, a peaceful transition. Then over here, this is our solder. We have to heat the temperature to 150 degrees. It's bubbly because we add Dawn soap. We add Dawn soap to the water, and it helps to clean the bird some, and also helps to loosen the feathers. Right here is our Featherman plucker. So I'll show you guys what it does. So you turn it on like this. It's got little rubber fingers. It spins the birds around and these fingers take all the feathers off. And then it comes out the chute here into our feather collector. And then over here is Rob's workstation. Over here he removes the feet and the heads and the oil glands on the tail, and then he moves it over to my station, which is over here. And I do the evisceration, which means I gut the birds. And I clean any feathers that might have been missed. I rinse them really well. I separate, separate the, gib this is my giblet pan, so livers, hearts, and gizzards go in here. This is the shoot for the rest of the remaining intestines and the yucky stuff and it, I have a bucket under here where it falls into the bucket I have to grab I don't have it here yet and then after we get that done this is our walk-in cooler see all of our chill tanks in here so we fill those up with the chickens and we dump a lot of ice in them and it cools the carcass down very quickly we let that in the salt water overnight. The next morning, tomorrow morning, we're gonna wrap them all. This is our cut up room. So this is where we, we have the tables in here tomorrow morning. And this is where we do all the wrapping. We have a vacuum sealer here. And we vacuum seal our birds. We take these trays out because the birds will be big. When we're doing parts, when we're doing organ meats, we leave one or two trays in there depending on how thick the packages are. So we vacuum seal them. And then um, we let them in the cooler a couple more days. That's not going to be the case tomorrow. Tomorrow we're delivering all 200 to a farm store. So all of them that we're butchering today go to a farm store. So yeah, so in a rice maker, this thing has saved us so much money because we were spending thousands a year in ice. It's crazy. So we have an ice maker now, which is great. Rob doesn't have any ice in here yet because we have bags of ice in the freezer that we have to clear out. So this is it guys, and then we got lots of freezers, 
for our parts and for our whole birds that we don't sell fresh. So, so this is where the magic happens, everyone. And also, uh, Thursday, we'll be butchering another 200. A lot of those are going to be cut up into parts. We have all these bins right here. After we vacuum seal them, they, we, lay, we put them in these bins. So we'll have drumsticks in one, we'll have, or two, depending on how many birds we have. Breasts and wings and everything separate into all the different bins. But I hope you enjoyed our video. I just wanted to give you guys an inside view of our processing facility. And like I said, it might be gruesome to some, but it's the best way we know how to raise our own chickens. They have a great life and they only have one bad day in their whole life. So thank you all for watching and tune in next time. Subscribe if you haven't. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and God bless.